Hello to you everyone. Today I am discussing the methods to fill the combo box, the Invisual V6 Visual Studio 2010. The combo box items, how to add item different ways. They're using this method, the different methods, using the simple code, using the simple array, use of the class and object from the database. You can fill the combo using the property window. Each tutorial explained the different methods. This simple, you can say simple code. Use the simple code item dot add methods and clear method used for the remove the items like combo box dot text equal to select combo box one dot item dot add. You can add the item using the item dot add. This combo box one is the your control name. This is item dot add. Introducing your the item into the combo box. Please watch detailed videos in which the code is coding and running the your setup of your program. Next is the use of the array. You can define the array and fill the array and loop variable defined and using the loop you can combo box dot name dot item array variable dot loop variable you can see the different tutorial in which how you add this item using the array there are different tutorial totally explain the how to fill the array and combo box using the class and object define the class and private members and next steps they define the constructors and use the list or to fill the object type of the array to fill the different different objects different values and assign this or list or add it to the combo box as a data source and define the display member and value members this is a separate video you can see how it work from the database you can fill the combo box from the database create database select database and put to the data table or data set data and define this data table and data source into the data source for the combo box using display member value property you can assign other method also used to put the data into combo box like list you can select the data from database and put into this list and list is forward to the combo box controls next is the property windows property we click on the combo box and right click on the properties click on items and fill the items click on ok you get the there are separate videos for this tutorial so this is a overview of the methods for filling the combo box each video has explained how to fill the combo box using the, these methods they are the separate videos please like and subscribe and click on different tutorials for different methods thank you for watching